everybody welcome back to my kitchen i have to tell you something the most difficult part about making a cooking video it's always the introduction so i'm going to be short and simple we are going to make a vegetable rustic tart but we're going to have a lot of fun doing this you're really going to like this this will allow you to choose whatever vegetables you want to put in your tart and we're going to make a salad in the end both of these things I, they're just brand new in my kitchen but they came out absolutely delicious and I really want to share this with you. So anyways, you know how the thing goes. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, let's bake. We're going to start with the dough. What I have here already, I put three quarters of a cup of white flour, a cup of rye flour, and a quarter of a cup of whole wheat pastry flour, okay? A little bit of salt because the butter that I'm gonna use is already salted and I just need to mix it here. And then, this is where the fun begins. I need you to clean your surface really well. Throw in your flour. Okay, and have your very cold water next to you here. So we're gonna start with one of these pastry knives. I want you, and the butter is cold. It's very important. Put a little bit of the nigella seeds. You can skip it if you want. Now we're gonna put very, very cold water. I'm gonna start with only a quarter of a cup, slowly, not all of it. Just want to bring all this together. Okay. Now we're going to form it into a ball. We're going to wrap it and put it in the refrigerator for half an hour. We're gonna start with the inside of the tart because we need this to really cool off. We'll begin with two onions and I'm just gonna slice them here. So I'm just gonna caramelize them and then put some turmeric in the end. After they look like this, I'm going to put some grated turmeric. You know that's how I freeze my fresh turmeric. Okay, so now they are ready. I finished the onions. Okay, so now I want to show you we're going to begin with the salad. Okay. I have all these tomatoes, colorful tomatoes. I have mint, parsley, and I have a little bit of thyme. This is for the salad. So I'm gonna start by chopping the tomatoes in half. Put it in the refrigerator until it's ready to use. I have to make sure I always buy something that is triple washed. So I'm gonna have uh, organic arugula for now. I'm going to put a little bit of arugula. We're going to put all the tomatoes in here. Okay. We'll put some red onions. Okay. Perfect. 
Okay, we put some parsley. And mint. This is all for my garden, so that's why I have it like this. Just pinch them after you wash them. Very easy. Just throw them in there. This for now to the refrigerator. I do want to show you what I have here. I have all the vegetables ready for the tart because now I'm gonna add some of the tart. So I have basil. I have thyme, fresh thyme underneath. Um, I have the yellow squash, tomatoes, and kumatos. I'm gonna use a uh, Gruyere cheese and a little bit of on the other side. I'm gonna use a uh, sheep feta. Okay, so now we have it over the board. As you see, we're just gonna fold this later. I have the onions, they're already cold. Try to spread them as much as I can. Basil, I don't like to put this at the end, all of it, because it burns. So I just wanna keep some of the flavor in here. Gruyere cheese and more vegetables. Thyme, cheese. All the edges in the way that you like it doesn't have to be in any particular order you can just like wrap it around like this it's gonna be like the crust of a pizza okay to go and take some of this out because remember this has butter and is very tasty okay I'm gonna use an egg to brush it and I already put the oven 400 degrees and we're gonna bake this for at least 25 minutes until it's golden and crisp. I prepared this little plate with feta cheese for those who need a little bit more cheese. Now we're going to finish the salad. I'll show you because the tart is going to be ready just in a little bit. We're going to sprinkle the pomegranate. Okay. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit of allspice. Pomegranate molasses. The olive oil. Just gonna toss it really gently. And right, now we're gonna see if it's ready. Mm. 
here is the tart. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm gonna do one more of this. 